Before I get started, let me share this throwback picture of our living room with you. Hi friends, this is Sharita with Unique by Sharita. This video is a continuation of the unboxing decor haul part two video. In that video, I unboxed several items. So this video will show you where those items were placed in the space, as well as some more decorative pieces that I recently purchased from Home Goods and Pier One. If you enjoy lifestyle, decorating, and DIY videos, please subscribe to my channel and turn your notification on so you will be the first to know when I post more videos. Let's get started. I purchased this from Home Goods along with these three and this vase. Oh, I love it. Then I got these three from Home Goods as well. These right here, they came from Pier One, regular price. Was $6.99, $6.95. I paid $1.98. And I think I purchased four or five. I don't think I have them all on the table. These I got for the the um, kitchen area. These I already had. I got batteries put in them. So let me go ahead and show you what my goal plan was. Taking these. I'm just gonna drop one. In each one so let's just do that there same thing over here okay so we have that right and then um, let's take this like this and we're going to So we're gonna take that and put it inside of here. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. There we go. See that? Okay. And we're just going to take it. Let me see if I can lift it without breaking it. And put it over there. So we're gonna put it right here. Just to break up the colors there. Okay. And then we'll take these. We'll take these. I'll take three of them. All three of them. And I'm going to add them to the bookcase. So we're doing some changing and some adding. So we're going to go up here to the bookcase. And we're gonna put set them down for now. We're gonna put one here. And I'll take that one out. We'll put one here. And then we'll put the last one down here. Okay. So we'll take this out, and there's the three we added. One, two, and the bottom one is three. Okay. So I will put this one, I'll save this one for the kitchen area. So we'll just set that there for now. I want to go ahead and set the camera down for a minute and add the new pieces to the table. So we still have these items left, which I do know this one and this one will be going in the heart. We're gonna walk right on in here. So I know it's 
been a while since you all have been in here. Let's set that one there. Then I'll just set this one right here. Whoa. Let's see. Let's start over at the front door. Okay, this is how it looks when you open the front door. Trying to stay as steady as I can. Go a little higher so you can see the light fixture. This is how it looks. So basically you can kind of see um, a view of the entire um, living room, dining room area. So moving right along, just gonna kind of tell you where I got some of the pieces. So of course you know the first piece. I took this piece and um, redid it. So it was ugly, brown, worn out mirror and I used some crushed glass and spray paint and fixed it. So I did a video, so I'll link that in the comments. Here's my bar cart. Got some candles, flowers, floral. Um, I, I took some of the, some of the um, glassware off of it because it was a little bit too much to dust. So just kept it simple. All right, let's start from this side, scan around. Um, there's my new light fixture that's from Capital Lighting. I think it's called the Grayson. I'm not for sure. I'll put that in in the description as well. This was a piece from Harp and Finial. This um, big sculpture here. And if something I don't uh, mention, feel free to leave a comment and ask me. I was waiting for this video before I shared um, where I got majority of the items. So um, these pillows here were custom. If you notice the colors that are in them, I do plan to incorporate them into the room later, but I'll pull like this, this green, the yellow, this gray and that orange of the pillows. So scan in the room. Now these were a burgundy color. And if you can see real close, I spray painted them uh, bronze and the top part gold. So um, I ended up spray painting them and they work in here. So um, backing up so we can start. These chairs are from Uttermost. Don't know where these were from, I can't remember, but um, I'm just telling you the brand because sometimes you can find the items with another store. So that's why I'm just sharing the brand. And as I mentioned, the light is from Capital Light, and I believe it's the Grayson Collection. Okay. All right, and um, this piece, I can't remember where I, it's from. And of course, I got this from Home Goods, and I just put that vase in there. These 44-inch lamps are from Uttermost. That's the utter, Uttermost or Revelation. I've had this mirror for a while. I believe I got it from, if you can see, let me step back. I got it from Haverty's some time ago. So. And this is a three piece. The other piece is on the um, bookshelf over there. So it's three pieces to this. And of course I split it up. So that's that. Of course, this table came from Home Goods. This lamp is a world's away piece. I just didn't keep the lampshade that was on it or came with it. The candle holders, they came from Z Gallery. The art is from Uttermost. The pillows I got from Amazon, they were like $22 on sale a piece. So 
Um, I didn't see any more in that color. There was another brand that carried the same exact pillows and they were selling them for like $60 a piece, but I paid $22. These pillows I got from Marshalls, they were $7.99, but they were flat and you can't, you wouldn't be able to chop them when I bought them. So what I did was rip them out and put a, rip them open, I'm sorry, rip them open and put a new feather pillow in the inside just to give them a little bit more of a luxurious look. And if you notice this chair, it's not a new chair, it is reupholstered. So I had it upholstered with performance fabric. It is a light color, but it's performance fabric. So I did have that um, recovered. If you wanna see, it has a little gray in it and it's a light tan color. So that's a new sofa from Fruit Collection. And here is the vase I just got from Home Goods, and I put my tulips in it. I wanted a bigger vase, so that worked for me. So I got from Home Goods, they just put them out, just put them out. So those um, range from $6.99 up to $12.99, I believe. My books, coffee table books, I usually get them from Home Goods or Amazon. So I think the one on top and the one on the bottom I got from Amazon, and the one in the middle I got that one from Home Goods. Um, oh, yeah, these trays, it was two of them. That's the uttermost piece. Okay. All right, so. Moving to the bookshelf, um, those two vases at the top, I got those from um, a store called Stash in Memphis, but I have seen the same ones at Home Goods for less than the original price at Stash. Now Stash, they were pretty expensive, but I got them on sale and um, they sell them for the same price, um, pretty close to the same price at Home Goods. So those two um, boxes in the center, I got those from Home Goods. They do sell them at Z Gallery also. So of course, these two pieces, I got those. I think they're a Crestview piece. Um, this lid goes to the other, I just have it on the table for now. But I spray painted the bottom gold and the lids gold. They were like yellow and red on the bottom. That was weird, so. And yes, these chairs ended up back in here and I will show you why when I go back in the kitchen area. These two ottomans or stools, whatever you wanna call them. These are from Uttermost, so I love them. Just spread them, show you the design in them. So those were from Uttermost. This chest is an IMAX piece. These three lamps are made by Harp and Finial. They do still carry them. They also have the floor lamp style all right so we're gonna move into the hearth room trying to scan the area and see if there's something i may have left off um so let's go ahead and go into the hearth area okay these chairs are from ballard designs them so You've seen everything in this last video and these pillows were made. I had them custom. I ordered the fabric and had them made. So um, it is gray. Most people think they're black on the picture, but they're gray as well as these and these are green. So there's the two candle uh, holders from Z Gallery. I brought them in here because this space has more of a silver, silver color in here. 
So I brought those in here. And these chairs are from Uttermost. And they do have, I love the legs on them. All right. Those pictures I got some time ago from Home Goods. I believe these are by Saria. I just changed the knob on them, on that one. So. All right, so those pillows I got from Home Goods. These green ones I got from Home Goods. Yeah. And these I had made as well. And, um, they're like 26 inch. So I put 28 inch pillows in it. And like I said, these are 22 inch, but I put 24 inch um, feather pillows in those. And on the fireplace, of course, that's a vase I already had and, and some greenery I had. So I just took three flowers and stuck them in there. They're not done any special kind of way. So I'm just gonna show you this area, although I have not really did anything in here other than hung the chandelier and put these few items on the table. Had no intention of sharing this space, but I do want you all to see my before because I am working in this area. Well, I'm not right now, but that's the plan to update this area. The rug will stay and the light fixture will stay. And I'm sure some of the pieces on the table, but I did get this uh, tray from Home Goods recently, actually during the COVID, and it was well when they opened after COVID, um, and it was like thirty nine ninety nine. So yeah, and those are old, and of course that picture used to be on the other wall. It's old as well. So spinning right along, so you can kind of get a view of from here. So that's what he looked like from this view. Spin around a little bit and show the kitchen area, which I do plan on making some changes in here. Um, so yeah, we live in here. We literally use our home to live. Oh yeah, the other thing, the TV, we're gonna remount it. When it was originally mounted, the uh, piece that was under it was much lower. We have the swivel mount on it, but I don't have any plans of swiveling the TV anymore, so we're gonna make it stationary. And these, um, I got these from Home Goods. They were sold in a set of three. So look like I've purchased maybe four or five sets and they were probably $12, $20 a set, I believe. Um, so I've seen them at Ross also because I was on a mission to kind of do um, the wall like I did it. So I had to just shop around for them. So I'm trying to give you a visual of how it looks. So I eventually got enough to complete the look but you can kind of see um, I wanted to kind of cascade out. So once I get the TV mounted um, the way it should be, then we will, um, then I'll go back and move them around some more because I had to move them just to get the TV where it is. So that's that. And those pictures, I'll probably have those forever. I love them. I got those from Haverty's like seven or eight years ago, and I've had them all over this room. So those will definitely go with me wherever we go or wherever in the house. So back again, um, I didn't, I'm trying to get to this vase. So this vase, I put a real plant in it. I know the plant is really small, um, 
but I do don't want to have to change it again so that's why I put that plant in that vase and it is it'll eventually catch up but for now that's one of them and the other one is over here and it and I just put a artificial plant in it it works for me for now so I still do have a few more pieces that I'm working on those two chairs that happen to end up back in here will go somewhere else in the house but until I find what I'm looking for but for now they work in here and like I said we live in here we sit on the sofa we watch TV in here we hang out in here and of course we have a cocktail in here. If you have been following me, I'm sure you have noticed the drastic changes. I've lightened a lot of things up and uh, move some things around so i do shop the house um i do shop on facebook marketplace i shop um yard sales um estate sales so it's just um timing so thanks again for watching and uh if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe to my channel Turn your notification button on and like, share, comment, leave some feedback. I'm open to any suggestions and I'm a work in progress. So thanks again. <music>